to start in Decatur, where dozens of people have gathered outside City Hall. It's after a website published what appears to be police body camera footage of the night Steve Perkins was shot and killed. Our Ken McCoy spoke with some of those community members and he joins us live. Ken, how was the community responding to this? Kanisha, I'm here outside of Decatur City Hall where just hours ago, dozens of Steve Perkins supporters gathered to continue their fight for justice for Steve and the removal of Ty Pinion. This Friday marks six months since Steve Perkins was shot and killed outside of his home by former Decatur police officer Mac Marquette. Back in January, Steve's widow, Catrella Perkins, did confirm that she was presented the opportunity to see the body camera footage, but chose not to do so. And today, what appears to be the body cam footage of events leading to Steve Perkins' death was posted by a website online. Morgan County's NAACP president, Roddy Gordon, was at tonight's gathering and shared this with the crowd. You know, if, if it hadn't have been, if that door cam hadn't have been there, we wouldn't even be having this conversation. He'd have been a statistic. That's why he came and told the lie from the jump. We asked him to put a gun down. He didn't put the gun down. We shot him. That was a lie, a bald face lie. If it wasn't for the body cam, this, we, we don't have this conversation, y'all. We also spoke with another member of the community who shared this reaction to the body camera footage. But when the video comes out, when more evidence comes out, when more people talk, what you have to remember is he said, she said, but there's the truth. That's right. And the truth is on that video. The truth is Steve didn't have time to talk. That's right. The truth is Steve didn't have time to comply. The truth is Steve didn't have time to drop his gun, if he had a gun. The truth is Steve didn't have time to turn around and put his hands up and say, I will do what you say and or stop what he was doing. The truth is they came from behind his house. They hid there before anybody ever knew and they came out and they killed an innocent man because they could. Mm. Not because they wanted to or whatever else we want to convince ourselves. They did it because they could. All right. Supporters said they will continue their fight for justice for Steve and plan on gathering this Friday for another march. And we did reach out to Aaliyah, who did confirm they did not release the body cam footage. We also reached out to the Morgan County's DA's office to get information about the body cam footage, but they could not give one due to a temporary gag order. We'll continue to keep you updated. But for now, here in Decatur, Kim McCoy, Fox 54.